Hey guys, what's up? It's Liam here for Ricardo 10. Before I get into this video, I want to let you guys know a little bit about me. My name's Liam. I run the YouTube channel Wide Technology, the Internet Technology Network. I'll leave a link in the description and uh, you can follow me on Twitter to keep updated in the latest tech news when I make and when I make videos. Um, on at Liam G Simmons, so don't forget to follow me and subscribe to me on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm going to be showing you how to change your Mac stock style. If any of you guys have a Mac and you want to change your Mac dock style, uh, feel free to follow along to this tutorial because this is the method I've always used and it works great for me. So you want to download an application called Leopard, called Dock Library, and once you've downloaded and installed that, just go ahead and head over to leoparddocks.com. Once you're over there, go ahead and click Browse All Docs. And you want to go ahead and find which dock you like. Sometimes this takes a while, but I've got a few installed, and I kind of like this one. It's sort of like one which you get on the sides. And pretty much once you've downloaded it, it should appear in your downloads folder as a .zip file. Uh, if you're in Safari, it will unzip the zip file. But you want to go ahead and right click it and compress it in that case because you import it as a .zip file to the application. So, bezel style, I want to go ahead and drag back to my documents folder. Now it's in my documents. And now I want to go ahead and open the doc library application back up. Then I want to click import. I want to go to my I want to go to my documents folder and open the dot zip. And for some reason uh, that doesn't work. So there is a few docs on that website which don't work, and that just happened to be one of them just then. And I'm pretty sure I've got this one. Maybe I don't. Nah, right, so I'm going to be down with the blue LED indicator. This one should work fine. Well, most of these wet, most of them on the website should work fine. So once again, you want to go ahead and drag the one into your documents. Go ahead and click import. And click open. And as you can see, this one worked. My current doc is that. And if I go ahead and click activate. I'll pretty much restart my dock and now we have a nice cool looking dock so if you would like me to continue the series on this channel leave a comment down below also don't forget to like this video because it really shows your support to me and Houston also don't don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Liam G Simmons and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for Wide Technology uh, on my YouTube channel, I try to keep you updated on the latest tech news. I post tutorials, reviews, and I'm going to be. And I have actually been asking a few tech YouTubers to make videos for my channel also. To get my channel a bit more out there, but it also helps them get a bit more out there. My channel is really small at the moment, but, but it's still growing. I did have an older YouTube channel with over 3,000 subscribers, but it never made partner because my antennas got disabled. And if it was to make partner, I wouldn't have been able to make money off it because of my antennas getting disabled. That's why I moved to this YouTube channel. So, as I said, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the little subscribe button up above. Don't forget to subscribe to my button, subscribe to my button, subscribe to my channel, Wide Technology, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Liam G Simmons. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace. Thank you.